Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today for our mini lesson we're going to be talking about points, lines, and planes. This is an introduction for all the things that you'll see in geometry, and it's important things to know. First off, let's talk about a point. A point is a location with no length, width, or depth. All right. A point is usually named and labeled with a capital letter. So you'll have a point, for example, point A. And usually, you will have not only the letter A, but a small dot to indicate where that point is. So if the point B were up here, and the point C were over here, these would be ways to lo label points. All right. So there's the point A, point B, C, D. And basically, you're going to be labeling points with a capital letter next to the location of that actual point. Lines are the second thing. They're a collection of points that are arranged in a straight path. A bunch of points put together will make a line. Um, as line can continue in both directions without end, it sometimes has arrows on either end. I'll show you some examples in just a minute. A line can be identified in two ways. Remember, a point is just one capital letter. So a line, you can label it by saying any two points that are on that line. Or you can label it um, using a lowercase letter that appears on the line. For example, you could say it's line AB because it's the line that goes from point A to point B. You could also say it's point BA because lines go in both directions. So it could be from that point to there. Sometimes you'll see the symbol put on top of it with the arrows on both sides. Sometimes it'll just be the letters. All right, so these are different ways that you would label a line. Or if you have a lowercase letter sitting next to the line, that would be another way of, lo of labeling a line. Line H, for example, would have an H next to a line. The third part here is a plane. A plane is a flat surface with an infinite length, width, but no thickness. It's usually represented using a parallelogram. We name a plane by any three points that are on that plane in any order. So you can use three capital letters, or you can use a capital script letter, like this. It kind of looks like cursive. So this would be plane ABC, because all three points, point A, point B, and point C, are all inside of one flat surface. Or point CBA, or point BCA. All three of these are the same. Okay? They're all the three same points. It doesn't matter what order they are. Or you can say that it's plane M. Let's look at some examples now. Here are some examples of planes, points, and lines. So first, we're going to identify a point. Can you point out a point? <laughs> Just go ahead and show any point. Well, there's the point E. right? It's represented with a capital letter next to the dot, as we've said before. There's the point C. right? There's the point D right there. It's a capital letter next to a point. There's the point B. That's where these two lines intersect. Oh, speaking of lines, let's go ahead and how would we label this line? It's from this point to this infinitely going in both directions. We could label this line as line AB because the points A and B are both along this line. Or the lowercase letter J, this could be line J. Same with this other line we see here. We could call this line DB. Or we could see the lowercase letter on this line is M. So we could call this line M. There's also one more part of this, and that's the plane. That's this parallelogram, this huge shape here with parallel lines on both sides. has a scripted letter. I think that's a capital G. All right, the script G. So that would be plane G. Or you can label the plane by saying any three points that are on that plane. So we could say this is plane CEA, or it's plane DBA, 
or DCE. All right, any three three points can help us see where a flat plane is. Or if it's labeled with a cursive or a script letter, then that would be the name of that plane. So this is plane G, or you could call it plane DCE, EAC, any of these letters that are capitals, because we use points to identify a plane. And our lines are there and there, and there are all of our points. So there, inside of this one example, we can see all of those parts, lines, planes and points. And those are three very important terms for geometry. You're going to see those terms used over and over and over again. So I hope that this little review has been helpful for you and have an absolutely wonderful day.